Hey everybody, welcome to Giftology. I'm John Rulin. The goal of branding is to make your message memorable to everybody. And if the way to do that is to consistently communicate your message to all the people all the time, why do so many brands send inconsistent messages in their marketing and their customer interactions? Stick around and we're gonna talk about it. In the classic movie Ghostbusters, Egon tells Bankman and Ray, played by Dan Aykroyd and the great giftologist Bill Murray, a very important tip when trapping ghosts. He says, Don't cross the streams. Apparently doing so could result in life as you know it, stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total plutonic reversal. Unfortunately, business leaders cross the streams all the time. And while it might not kill them, it's certainly not building brand loyalty and making it easier for your customers to remember and talk about you. What I mean by crossing the streams is sending mixed messages with your marketing. Here's an example from the strategic gifting world. I heard the story of a local chiropractor who did something called Apple Pie Day. Every customer that came in on this day got a home-baked five-pound apple pie. Pretty cool idea, right? Well. Maybe or maybe not. If the goal of this chiropractor's business is to promote health and wellness, it's safe to say that giving out bowls of sugar and white flour that no single human could ever eat by themselves is a bit of a mixed message. I mean, both are inflammatory, both cause weight gain, and gifting consumables like food is fun, but it's largely unmemorable once it's eaten or thrown away. The questions I would ask the chiropractor does the apple pie promotion represent the values of the practice and what you're looking to accomplish for your patients? Maybe the answer is yes. Maybe they're trying to send a balance of work hard and play hard or something. What's more likely though, is that this loyalty promotion was born out of convenience and not really strategy. Whoever thought of this probably had a sister, an aunt that owned a farm or maybe a bakery where they had excess apple pie inventory at some certain time of year. A lot of mixed marketing messages, they're born out of convenience. The most common is monkey see, monkey do. A business leader sees something that a competitor's doing or a business leader sees something that they think is cool in another industry and they think, oh, we should do something like that. And so they copy the tactic, but they miss the messaging. It's like somebody playing tug of war with themselves. It's all noise and it all gets lost. This is why even companies like Walmart have an entire website dedicated to their brand guidelines. And it's publicly available to anybody. Their team members know it, their customers know it, even their competitors know it. This is why every tech company, once they get over that hump, they create a style guide that talks about colors and logos and tone and taglines so that everybody who represents the brand can deliver consistency of messaging to anybody who interacts with the brand. Canva did an awesome post sharing 50 brand style guides. I'll put the link below in the description. Hey. Maybe you're not a team of people. Maybe you're a solopreneur or an army of two. How can you make sure that you aren't crossing the streams, sending mixed messages and diluting your brand message and ultimately costing yourself loyalty? There's three ways. Number one, know what you're actually selling. If you're a financial advisor, you're not really selling a 10% return. You're selling peace of mind and you're selling the dream of the future. And every message has to be consistent with that from your email signature to your sales presentation to your follow-up messaging. Number two, have integrity in your communication. Oftentimes we hear the word integrity, we think honesty. But when I say integrity, I'm talking specifically about your personality, your language, your tone. Are you the same person when you're meeting with clients as you are on social media? as you are at church on Sunday, as you are on Saturday night, when you're out with your buddies or at a poker game or even lying in bed with your spouse, integrity is a foundation that nobody wants to talk about. And if you lack it, then even the best tactical loyalty programs will be diluted and your brand's gonna get watered down. And finally, number three, a story that others connect with. Do you share your background in an authentic way? Whether you're a one woman or a one man show, an executive or a CEO of a big company, have you taken the time to write down your business origin story and then shared it strategically with all of your customer interactions? Simon Sinek has a TED talk that you've no doubt seen called Start With Why. Go watch it again. People do business with those that they like, know, and trust. 
There's a reason why we tell the giftology story and why I talk about my roots as an Ohio farm boy who got his start selling Cutco knives in people's homes because it's part of our brand story. And that creates loyalty. Is your brand, be it personal or organizational, sending mixed messages and crossing streams with things like Apple Pie Day? Or have you put systems in place to give every customer the same memorable experience to make it yourself easy to be talked about? Tell me about it in the comments below in this video. And stay tuned for more thoughts on building brand loyalty.